Today's video, oh my. Today's video is sponsored by Dollar Shave Club. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's got scoliosis. Oh my goodness, are you okay? If you guys wanna meet me, you can meet me March 14th at 2 p.m. at the Dallas Galleria. But you know, I thought I'd just start off this video saying I hope all of you guys have a great day, but uh, tonight, well tonight, uh, I don't know. I think we're supposed to be cast nutting some fish or something. Oh, boys, it's cold outside. It is freezing. We're good. Here's the problem. Your problem is, dude, this thing is freaking mini. It's mini tiny. Yeah, dump that back there. Woo! All right, boys, let's go catch ourselves a fish. Line this rope up. We're gonna watch Brenton throw a taco. So here's the thing. If we had a big cast net, this would be real easy. But we don't, and <gasps> we have a look. Oh, wait, look we at that. caught a fish. That's all that matters. Yeah, let's get some water and then let's go. It's eight degrees outside. What is that? Is it even a, is it a brim or like a Yeah, perch? it looks like a little cool bait fish, little sunfish, something like that. All right, well good. It'll be delicious. Come on, next one. Oh, I, you would think we're like some country boys, but we're in the middle of the city right now. Yes. In fact, we're in a very prominent neighborhood. Leaf. We got a 100% American leaf fish. Oh, well. Mm. I don't know how we caught a fish, to be honest. Dude, if we had a big cast net right now, no problem. Oh. Oh, we got a catfish. Get oh, it, dude. God. Put it in. Oh my, oh my gosh, Max. Brenton acts like he needs the wind up with such a small cast net. <laughs> Nothing. We got, the oh. we got another one. We got three more of them. Whoa. Two more. No, Look we got three. Look at that. Ow. Okay, well, I think that was productive. All right, it's, last um, one. Oh my God. I don't understand how we caught something. Dude, There's how more. did we catch one? There's more. Look at that. A large nose carpet croaker. It's a large nose carpet croaker. <gasps> Who in their right mind goes cast netting in the middle of a neighborhood in the middle of night when it's eight degrees outside wearing Gucci shoes? <laughs> okay, so, woo! All right, boys, let's take these back to the pond. Okay, let's put these fish in. Five of them. Oh, I see a gar. Dude, have you ever seen that video where the kid like smacks the fish on the water? Be free! Okay. I'm sure he'll let you. So there's two right there. Throw them in, and there they go. And look at and that. So, what those will do is we'll repopulate, turn into a little school. There's kind of like tilapia, except for they don't reproduce every five seconds. <laughs> we got a waterfall. We do have a waterfall. All right. Look at that. Now it's time to go make some baby goldfish. Three days later. Ooh, Wendy's an understatement. Yeah, I used to manufacture those back in like 84. Oh. Well, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? Dude, at a trade show the other day, these they were like, $20. they weren't even that. One of them was like 12. Is that a glow axolotl? It looks like a glow axolotl. They're in these little net things. I feel sorry for that goldfish. This one right here, this one with the cheeks. I just want, no, that's his eyeballs. Hey. It's an, oh, it sucks at swimming. Larry. Okay, look at this flower horn. Bubba is literally his size. I know he might not look like it, but Bubba is huge. Like, he's grown so much, and he's a lot cooler than you. You fake flower horn. You're fake. It's a catfish with back problems. With back problems? Look at him. Oh my gosh, he is. He's got scoliosis. Oh my goodness, are you okay? And there's also baby flower horns in here. So if you guys, if you don't have all the money in the world to buy a flower horn, you can buy babies for 11 bucks. Mini flower horns, and I don't know where it went. There was a really nice one. Hey there, kiddo. Oh, it looks like he's frowning. <laughs> I feel bad for fast shaming the goldfish. What? Do you know what my favorite goldfish are? Is the kind I wanted to breed. I wanted to breed these goldfish. I like them more than the ones I have, and it's because they're stocky and tubby. See, these are the ones I want to breed. I should have got some of these. It's okay, though. I still love mine. Oh, there's more in here. Oh, my goodness. Look at them back there. Look at you, Sharon. What is this? A humphead glassfish. Yeah, I got haven't seen my bubber fish it looks very similar to this one except for this one's two hundred and forty dollars i don't know what's so special about you hey i think it's so funny looking and you're the ugly kind you're the cute one i like you i just don't know where we would put that thing i don't know if you guys see that back there but that's a shark let me see if i can get its face but that is that is a shark right there Oh, got hit by a burst of wind okay we're basically making the breeding sponge mop pounder mop Hey. We're making baby goldfish and I'm not always home like 24 7 so I can't see when they're you know like hanging out doing their thing Next. Hey again. So I gotta have somewhere for the male to push the female because I did get a male and a female At least that's what I was told. So let's hope ah, the male's gonna push her in there and wrangle her And out comes the baby goldfish. This video is no longer kid-friendly. Make sure we check that box Yeah, we're gonna check that box when we upload it for sure. Chuck it out my face. Thank God you are not oh. 
Can do that for the gold. Yeah, yeah. yeah just <laughs> they just camouflage in there. Okay. Basically, what we do is make a long, a lot, a lot of. A lot of long strings with this thing. We suction cup it in there. It kind of like flows. I've got a wave maker in there too, so it's gonna be like flowing like algae in the wind. They're gonna they're gonna lay their little baby eggs on here. Okay, so this is where the goldfish breed. So those are the male. That's the male and the female. I was told. So now, so let's build the mop. Speaking of a mop, we could have just bought a mop head and not had to build anything. That's actually kind of true. Well, shiver me timbers. Well, shiver me timbers, Jeremy. Well, shiver me timbers. Well, shiver me timbers, that's Jeremy. That's the new thing, guys. Just so you know. What? No! <laughs> do you have, I didn't know you were bringing a butcher knife. This was you. I didn't do that. Yes, you did. Oh, You're grounded. So, what you do, guys, is you get your yarn, and this is a maneuver I learned back in 1942, is you do this. You don't stop. You see this? You see this circle we've got? Yeah. Son of a biscuit, shiver me timbers. Can I give you a recommendation first? No, just, just send it. Full send it. Yep, you messed that up. No, nope, it's not gonna break. Here. I, you guys can see I've made this little ball. You got it. The hook is inside the ball. And now if you can see, we've got hook ball. Fluff it all up like so. And that's literally what we just made. But that's it. Okay, so suction cup. We already washed this off. Look, the male's already over there. He's like, I know what that is. Okay, like so. Well, I'm gonna tell you now that this is not going as planned. Okay, there's no way. No way what? I'm telling you, there's no way this is coming off. Bro, it's impossible. Good, that's Just, good. That little yarn thing right there. So that is, that's all it takes. So if you guys have been like breeding goldfish or attempting to, um, that's what it's like. What's up children? What's cracking girl? Hey. Oh, you know what this is. See, they love, they love this stuff, man. These goats right here, these guys can never get enough food. Never. Open this on up. Hey, sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. I sprinkle this all throughout the yard. That way everybody can kind of get it throughout the day. There you go. Even the ducks will come eat this stuff. Like it's, they're vibing, they're chilling. So let me know what you guys think on the new duck, the new Swedish duck. I'm liking them so far. And I'm thinking about getting another duck. I don't know. You guys got to let me know if I should or not. Now that it is the next day, we can turn the tank on. I don't know if you guys can see, but the breeding mop right there has finally kind of sank to the bottom. So if and when it does happen, what he's going to do is he's going to push her in over there and that's where she's going to lay her eggs is on all over that mop. But so far, one thing I've noticed, look how big our water cow is getting. I don't know if you noticed, but like, like he is getting huge. So we're all the other fish in here the red tail i mean i don't know if you can tell but he's massive and we've we've had like a spike of snails in here like they are everywhere and but that's perfect because they just make great food for the puffer fish who is doing fantastic actually every every fish is doing fantastic <laughs> Okay, now I also need your help, considering we have a bunch of goldfish in here, like a lot. Now you can see I'm in a tank top, so it's finally starting to get warm outside and I wanna get this pond full of colorful fish, mollies, platies, things like that. So if you have any cool, interesting ideas for colorful fish, let me know and I can put them in here. It could be a freaking school of betta fish. Actually, no, it, it couldn't. That'd be like a battle royale situation, but you know, just let me know. Action. What's going on ladies and gentlemen, thanks to Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring today's video. So basically Dollar Shave Club has you covered for all of your uh, grooming needs as you can tell. Shower, oral care, <laughs> shower, oral care, deodorants, and uh, most importantly, shaving. The executive handle and blades. Weighty handle and high quality six blades. One ounce of prep scrub. Exfoliates dead skin cells and helps release and prevent ingrown hairs. For all of you ingrown hair people. Shave butter is it's not shave butter. What? Shave butter is transparent for more precise shape. Helps fight razor bumps. For all of you who have a lot of razor bumps. Okay. Post shave do helps provide hydration and relieves on contact. Okay, so uh, they also sent me this post shave cream. You guys can see I'm a little, you know, we're gonna need that here in a moment. It's sold separately from the starter kit, but uh, basically it keeps my skin protected from dryness all the time and throughout literally all the seasons. <laughs> this is why we don't get brand deals. Well, now that I'm all buttered up.
Well, I was supposed to pick a favorite, but because I liked them all, um, the only one I could really pick was the post shave do, and it's just because I like the word do. Sounds cool. So if you guys go to uh, dollarshaveclub.com forward slash fanatic, you can get a Dollar Shave Club Ultimate Shave Starter Kit for only five dollars. Yep. And after your five dollar starter kit, your restock box will ship with full size products at full price. So thank you, Dollar Shave Club, for sponsoring today's video. Oh. <laughs> Turn the wall white. <laughs> Well, with that being said, hopefully you guys went on, can, can you not fly? Hopefully you guys went on to enjoy today's video. My kids right here. Hey, 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 what? You're supposed to be smiling for the camera, bro. Everybody's doing fantastic out here. If you get to like today's video, click the like button. That's of course if you enjoyed it. If you didn't, you, should, you can still click it. But if you haven't joined my channel yet, click the subscribe button down below. Follow me on Instagram at fanatic.media. All of the other Instagrams are also linked in the description as well. So if you have any other videos, ideas, or suggestions similar to this one, hit me up with them. I would love to hear them because I want to start doing your video ideas. Thanks to Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring today's video. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys next time on the next episode of Fanatic. Peace.